what what is what is what is the thing that you take away from this last dance? Um, a couple things, we, and we've touched on this actually since we've been doing the recap. But to kind of like bring it all together, I think just off the top of my head, I would say, uh, for me, it was watching greatness personified. Mm-hmm. Watching Black Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like Reggie watching said, yeah. watching Black Jesus being alive during every single year Jordan won a, every single year Jordan won the finals. I was alive and mm-hmm. not even knowing. Being able to see that and, and, and seeing what I missed, I think that was great. So grateful for that. Um, knowing what I know about Jordan, hearing him, I really like, I, I was moved by him describing what the cost of greatness is mm-hmm. and how not everybody's going to like you. That, that shit changed my entire perspective on just what it really takes to be the greatest. A great leader, a great, a, a great competitor. That mm-hmm. was dope. Um, and then we just touched on it just now. Like, what's important to you and where are you? What are you willing to sacrifice? I can sacrifice my blood, my sweat, my tears, but I'm not sacrificing my family. I'm not f- sacrificing. You know what I'm saying? Those, those moments. Yes. The, the main takeaway from The Last Dance for me, the behind the scenes stuff, the stuff that I didn't know. I, I, I consider myself like a basketball nerd, a music nerd. I, I like... I look for the different like intricacies of, of certain tracks and certain games and certain players. And it was beyond numbers when it came to watching The Last Dance for me. It was the effort, the the blood, sweat, and tears, the sacrifice, the literal physical pain um, that Michael Jordan endured to get the team that was smoking cigarettes at halftime and doing coke on the road in hotel rooms <laughs> to a legendary dynasty that yeah. will go down yeah. as the greatest dynasty of all time. Yeah. They were 72 and 10, the greatest team of all time. Just the the work that he put in to get them to that point and the pride that he took in that when he came back in 95 with these new guys in practice, these new guys in training camp. You weren't you didn't go through what I went through. Yeah. You don't like you're not gonna come to practice and shit is gonna be sweet. Shit's not sweet. You didn't. You didn't go to Detroit. You didn't go through Boston. Yeah, yeah. You didn't to a certain extent. You didn't go through the Knicks. Like you didn't. You weren't like. You didn't have Charles Oakley and Anthony Mason's thick asses like laying yeah, on Bo's. you. Anthony Mason, Bo. Yeah. You didn't have. You didn't go through all of that to get to where I got to. So if you're gonna be on my team, please best believe it's not gonna be sweet. And and it's gonna be just as tough for you. I take away from it, like you mentioned, the the things you go through and the things you sacrifice to win, mm-hmm. to be at that level, to be the most iconic person on the planet, actor, athlete, whatever. For that most iconic person to be a black man that can sell products with his with his black face. <laughs> ball head hoop that, Aaron. Ball head hoop Aaron baggy shorts with his Dark with Liz. his just just a, a a guy that looks like us that your merchandise isn't selling if it's not endorsed by Michael Jordan your shoe isn't selling if it's not endorsed by by Michael Jordan by his face you know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. that that's big to me ultimately the biggest thing to me is being this guy and we mentioned this early without self promotion without taking a selfie and putting it out there without saying, hey, this is where I'm going to be at 12 o'clock. Everybody come see me. The effort that fans that we all went through to just be in the presence, be in the building, you know, be in front of our televisions at a certain point in time because we're not getting a replay. We're not watching this shit on demand. Like, we got to catch this shit live or else we don't. Yeah. yeah. You know, like the... Yeah. And, and as a kid, That's like the... the thing. Yeah. That's the thing. And it there was... Wasn't, there wasn't a... House of Highlights or Bleacher Report exactly. to scroll through after Jordan dropped 45. And even because the last dance, it leaked, right? And um, like in a group chat I'm in, somebody sent me the link to the leak. And I went and in my head, I was like, I don't want to watch this. No way. Because I, I want to be there for the appointment. Like I want to be there when the community is watching, mm-hmm. when Twitter is watching. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to like ingest this in real time. I want to have discussions about it. And talk about like what I'm looking forward to next without just I don't want to Netflix it. I don't want to binge it. Like I want to experience it. 
You know what I'm saying? And it's like we don't get to experience many many things media wise or documentary wise. It's more so like on our time. Yeah. Like now we're not on our time. We're on last dance time. And everybody's on last dance time. So it feels good to be a part of that. It's good. It feels really good.